Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Arcry's Fantasia Blind! In the last part, we defeated Elf. Finally! And in this part, apparently we're going to go see, uh, Sonya. Um... So yeah. I now have my Wii U set up, which I told you in about, like, uh, two episodes ago, which technically went up today which would have been two days ago for you. Time travel, it's complicated. So, let's see, where are we going? Uh, heroic agreement. So you were the only one who grew up, huh? Why didn't you wait for me, Dinos? We made a promise. Sigh, I think I'm gonna cry. But I don't want them to see something the matter. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. I was just uh, thinking. I see. There's something you're fretting over alone. Feel free to talk to me anytime. Sure, thanks. Might be a long time, though. Then tell me five years from now, before you go to sleep. I can wait until then. Uh, okay, thanks, Rastin. So, yeah, uh, it's all set up, uh, and I can record with it, uh, believe it or not. All I have to do, um, actually, the same, this, the way I get it so I can record with it is the same way I get it so I can actually play with it. I just, uh, swap the regular cables from my Wii onto that, onto it, and, um, I have also, I've played Zombie U once with my father. Uh, the multiplayer is so unbalanced, it's not even funny. Um, and I actually tried playing Arcrise on it, and it looked amazing! Uh, unfortunately, I did not have my save files on it. Um, I, I did notice there was a slight change, but it's, n it's nothing that, like, you know, I didn't really care, like, my, my saying is, it doesn't matter how many pixels you have, it's what you do with them, and Arcrise did pretty well. You know, just seeing it a bit more looked just a... You know, it looked sharper. That, that's basically it. Um, where do we go? Pause menu! Holy Land of Noir has appeared. Dr. Carlisle should be in the Senate. <laughs> so, so what I was about to say was, hmm, let me just try Diamant. It's in Carbunculus. So close. Yet so far. Uh, Carbunculus should be over here. My god, that is a big thing. Come on. Oh, I almost got it. Come on. Yeah. Okay. So, to the Senate. Yet again. So. Yeah, the Wii U setup. I've configured the stuff. I got the uh, Wii TV or the TV II uh, set up with my favorites and stuff. So I can watch all the the hip new cartoons like The Glee, Community Office, and that other one. Uh, and I also saw uh, Adventure Time on that, so I guess I'll watch a few episodes of that next time I have the chance. Uh, uh, I could actually watch YouTube videos on the Wii U. That could be f pretty fun and amusing. So, yeah. Uh, have, I've yet to play the actual single player of Zombie U. So, but what I have noticed is it is in fact a first person shooter. And, uh, if you know me, I don't like those very much. It's not that I'm hor- It's not that I'm horrendous- It's not that I hate them because I'm horrendous at them, it, I'm horrendous at them because I hate them. I'm not actually that horrendous. 
Uh, Senators. We're about the Red Continent is causing alarm in the people of Carbunculus. We have to act fast or pandemonium will ensue in Carbunculus. Um, okay, there's only one other place I can think Sonia would be, and that's the lab. Which I think was actually over here. Am I right? Yes, I am. So the Holy Land of Noir has finally appeared. You said that to neutralize the whole zone, we need help from the Singing Stone. From Isa, right? Did I say that? Oh, that is a devilish smile if ever I saw one. You sure did. Hmm. I said you'd need to use the power of the Singing Stone, not get help from it. What do you mean? There are three reasons the Singing Stone, the Isa Gem, is referred to as a god. One, its code spinning powers. Two, its ability to spread codes worldwide via the ray stream. And three... It's overwhelming godlike power! It has a sense of self-awareness, an ego. Dun dun dun! Um, for, 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 for those who are rather, rather uneducated about such topics as these, or young, uh, an ego is part of a, uh, a person's psyche. Uh, it controls the impulses from the super ego and the ids. Those are like uh, the angel and devil on your shoulders. Quick psychology recap and go. Well, that makes sense. It would have to if it's going to select one of the two laws. That's what makes things difficult. The Issa gem may not agree to neutralize the Hozone. So what do we do if that happens? Use this. That's a devilish smile if ever I saw one. Purity program! What's that? It's a code stone I crafted using the Meridian Bible as a reference. It contains a program to neutralize the Hozone in its code form. Destroy the core of the Isa gem and put this in its place. But if we destroy the Isa gem, how can we use its power? You only need to destroy the core, not the entire thing. I don't get it. The Isa gem is enormous. The entire Holy Land of Noir is the Isa gem itself. Damn. Imaginal and real are the equivalent of just a tiny fragment of the Isa gem. Damn. Isa's ego is only contained in its core, so once you've stopped that, it will no longer be self-aware. Oh, is it really that easy? Damn. Do you feel better about it now? Oh, I almost forgot. I need to explain some things about the program to the child of Isa. Sorry, but could you all leave us alone for a few moments? I need to stay here with Lark. No. I can only speak about this with the child of Isa. That's a devilish smile if ever I've seen one. Just give us a sec, guys. I'm sure it's no big deal. Aw, that's no fair! Lark, there is something I've been hiding from you. That's a devilish smile if ever I've seen one. Well, what is it? It's about neutralizing only the poison in the Hozone. To do so, requires finding a solution among a nearly infinite number of different patterns. Nearly infinite. I don't think you quite understand how this works. But, if you destroy the core of the Isa gem, its processing power will be greatly reduced. It may not be able to find a solution in time. But didn't you just tell us to destroy the core earlier? Yes. But only because there is another core that you must replace it with. I'm not talking about the code stone I gave you. The person that has Isa's factor within his body. You mean... me? Yes. You will become the core and neutralize all the Hozone in the world. Of course, this will likely take many generations to complete. You will be put to sleep like the Divine Race. You'll be parting ways with everybody you know. You'll have to say goodbye to them. Is this truly the path you wish to take? You need to be sure. 
I... I don't know what to say. Then take some time and think about it. Your decision involves the future of this world, so I already told the director about this. She said she would make arrangements to welcome you in the future when you wake up again. <sighs> the choice is yours. Lark, are you finished talking? Uh, yeah. She just said if I have any hesitation as a child of Issa, the entire plan might fail. So, sorry. But do you mind if we go visit Diamant before we do anything else? I want to think about things and figure out what I'm going to do there. What do you have to figure out? You know, just what I need to do to face the Singing Stone. Well, it should be okay. I don't think the Holy Land is going anywhere. Okay, Cecile the Brave will take us there in no time! Oh yeah, you guys still haven't named the light ship yet. Just saying. I... yeah. Holy cow, she did a backflip! Uh... So I'd like to take this time to give you a, friend, a friendly reminder to leave your topics of conversation in the um, comment section. Uh, we're running out of time on this Let's Play, but when I start up the last story, there should be plenty of time for plenty of uh, topics. And so, um, here, why don't we check out the progress scene. Uh, so let's see. So move the Gurtab ability points AP max. Ooh, that that can be helpful. Um, find the logos of ruling. Paparasuga. Ooh, speed and wind resistance, earth resistance. The logos of Imperial Majesty. Ooh, Abspin. Logos of Judgment, Offensive Ability Points, and Defensive Ability Points. Uh, Squill, Bunchu, Defensive, okay. Uh, the Logos of Protection and Refunga, Magic, All Elements, Resistance Up. The logos of Purity. Uh, full Heal and Defense and Resistance Bonus on L Allies. Oh, that could have been so useful! Uh, physical immunity effect on all allies, water damage to all enemies, untyped damage to incapacitated enemies, wind damage to all enemies, dark damage, and yeah. Well, I definitely want to put him up. That changes... That gives us one extra max HP. Er, X E A P. I can talk. Uh, wind, typed earth, water, skull immunity. Uh, you know, you think the logos of integrity would protect you? Uh, that's only physical immunity. I think that would be a better sort of saving grace. Magic up, ability points, AP max. And yeah, that should be good. It's kind of odd that I'm using Sima and Gurtab. And a quicker way would to be go this way. Also need to restock on items. I think I have enough money. But you know, you can you can never be sure. <sighs> So yeah, Wii U looks uh, pretty good. What I'm really looking forward to is um, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, uh, Tekken, and I think that's all that comes to mind. I saw General Sakura's videos on uh, Monster Hunter uh, 3 Ultimate, and is she a vendor? 
she's just zoned to talk. Okay. Where's the vendor in this town? 